Hey everybody, this is Jace with RMUS, and in today's tech bit, we're going to take a look at what I think is probably the most underrated feature of the M30 series, the pin dropping feature. So let's get this in the air and take a look. All right, now that the aircraft is in the air, you can see the reticle in the center, and that's kind of our primary guide for dropping these pins. At the bottom left of the screen right here, if I push this button, it drops a virtual pin. You can see it put the pin in the center of the screen as well as on my map display. And in that box, I can see the linear distance of the aircraft to the pin. I can also see the altitude. Now what that refers to is the altitude difference for my takeoff. And I also have an altitude designation in ASL, as well as the latitude and longitude coordination of that point. The other thing I really like about this is if I go back, I can drop multiple points. Say I'll mark this trailer for a later reference couple of different points. I can go here and again I have all of that information. I can select them and get their information and finally I can export all of these as a KML file so I could mark several points of interest and be able to reference them later. It's one of my favorite tools. It's extremely powerful. The other nice thing about these pins is that when you land and power off the aircraft, unless you delete those pins, they will be there the next time you enter this area or the next time you fire up the aircraft. So if you're doing inspections or have a point of interest that you need to repeatedly go to on multiple occasions, those pins will still stay there and you have those as a reference for later. All right, so that's a look at the pin dropping feature of the M30. Again, a feature that I really enjoy. As always, make sure you subscribe to the RMUS YouTube channel, that is this channel, for drone and robotics news, and make sure you reach out to ask at rmus.com for any other inquiries.